Okay, now we're going to talk about equations written in standard form. So linear equations written in standard form look like this. AX plus BY is equal to C. It's just another way of writing equations. So we talked about slope-intercept. Now this is the standard form way of writing an equation. Okay. Now standard form is very useful uh, when we are writing equations where we're looking for the x and y intercept. Um, it's very helpful to graph when it's in this form, um, in, in standard form. So it's helpful to find the x and the y intercepts. But notice here for our directions it says uh, write each equation in slope intercepts. So now we're going to work our way backwards. We're going to take the equations from standard form and then change them into slope intercept. Now we know that in order to change them what we're going to have to do is we're going to solve the equations for y. Now just to refresh our memory, remember slope intercept form is the y equals mx plus b. So let's take a look at number one. So write, equation, write each equation in slope-intercept form, and then we're supposed to identify the slope and y-intercept. So remember, the slope is your m value, and then the y-intercept is the b value. So in um, standard form, 2x plus y is equal to 3. That's an equation in standard form. It looks like this up here. ax plus b equals c. x and y are together on one side. No fractions, but what we need to do to change it into slope-intercept is to actually get y by itself. So number one, what's happening to y? Well, it's being added by 2x. So in order to undo that, we're going to subtract both sides by 2x. So I'm moving it from the left over to the right. Now on the uh, left side, I'm left with y is equal to, now over here writing it in slope-intercept, that's going to be the negative 2x plus 3. So I took it from standard form, and now right now it's in slope-intercept. So remember, slope-intercepts, that's the y equals mx plus b. So here I can identify my slope and y-intercept. When the equations is written in standard form, you cannot identify the slope and y-intercept. That's why we're, we need to change it. So my slope is negative 2, and my y-intercept, or my b value, is 3 in this case. All right, let's take a look at number 2. So number 2, here we have 4x plus 5y is equal to 30. That's an equation that's written in standard form. AX plus BY equals C. So we have to isolate our Y. Now if you take a look at this one, notice that Y is being multiplied by 5, but then it's also being added by 4X. So those are the two operations that are happening to Y, being multiplied by 5, and it's being added by 4X. So we need to do these two operations, but backwards and in reverse. So first we have to get rid of um, the, the um, thing that was done last, which was the addition of 4x. So in order to get rid of the addition of 4x, we have to subtract 4x from both sides. That's now going to leave me with 5y is equal to negative 4x minus 30. Now we're not in slope-intercept just yet because y isn't by itself. We still have this 5. So the opposite of multiplying by 5 is going to be dividing by 5. Now we know that with equations, what you do to 1, you have to do to all of them. So we're going to divide every term by 5. So we're going to divide the four, negative 4x four by 5 and the 30 by 5. We're keeping the equation balanced. So now this becomes y is equal to, now I'm going to leave the fraction as is. Okay, we're not going to change that into a decimal because remember that the slope gives the change in y over change in x. So it's negative 4 over 5x minus 30 divided by 5 is negative 6. Now the equation is in slope-intercept form. So my slope for this equation is going to be negative 4 fifths and my y-intercept or my b value is going to be negative 6. All right, now we're going to take a look at the back side, um, number 13, 14, and 15. So now we're going to take a look at some graphs, and we have to identify the equation. Now notice all of these equations, A, B, C, and D, are all in standard form, AX plus BY equals C. Now remember that in standard form, we cannot see the slope and the Y-intercept. We have to change and convert those equations into slope-intercept form. Now, if I'm given the graph, I can identify the y-intercept where your line crosses the y-axis. So right here in this equation, 
of the line, my y-intercept, or my b value here, is negative 2. And you can also identify the slope. So identify another point that goes through the grid line. I'm going to put it right here. And that's going to be my change in y is going to be up 1. Up 1. And then over to the right, 1, 2, 3. Over to the right, 3. So then my slope, change in y over change in x, is up 1 over to the right, 3. So that equation would be y is equal to 1 third x minus 2. So that's going to be my answer for the equation on the line. But notice all my options are given in standard form. So they give us a little hint, convert them into slope intercept. So remember our slope intercept, the y equals mx plus b. So I want to take the first equation, x plus, plus 3y is equal to negative 6. So I want to subtract x first from both sides. I get 3y is equal to negative x minus 6. And then remember, everything has to be divided by 3. So to get y by itself, now remember, there's a 1 in front of here. So that's negative 1 third x minus 2. Now look, that looks almost close, but remember the equation is positive one third because I went up and to the right. So it's not A. Let's take a look at B. So here in B you have X minus 3Y is equal to 6. I'm going to subtract the X from both sides. Negative 3Y is equal to negative X plus 6, and then everything has to be divided by negative 3. So now y is equal to, now what happens with the two negatives? That becomes positive 1 third x minus 2. And if you take a look, that's my answer here. That's going to be my line. So my correct answer would be b. Now you don't have to continue to do c and d to change them into um, slope intercept form. But just to give you some extra practice for c, x, uh, 3x plus y is equal to negative 2. All we have to do in this case is subtract 3x. Here, y is already by itself, so we don't need to divide anything. That would be your equation in slope-intercept form. And then it's the same thing for the last one. 3x minus y is equal to 2. Subtract 3x from both sides. And then in this case, you have negative y is equal to negative 3x plus 2. Now here, you do have to divide by negative 1. y cannot be negative. It has to be all positive all by itself. So that would be y is equal to positive 3x minus 2 for the last one.